Hello, I'm Alexis Spinelli and I'm here with OWTV. We're here on the last day of the inauguration for Dr. Sams. We're here for the luncheon with esteemed panelists who are going to be speaking about business and higher education. The SUNY Old Westbury community celebrated a new chapter with open arms and well wishes. Executive Vice President and Chief of Staff Joanne Robinson welcomed our new leader, Dr. Sams, and gave us an insight into the importance of this inauguration. Well, I'm going to start just by acknowledging that a presidential ignore inauguration is a history and it's a tradition in higher ed to welcome the new president to the campus, but also to present him to the community. So we're following a rich tradition in higher ed to acknowledge and to support and to recognize and present our new president, Dr. Sams. <laughs> With over 20 years of fundraising and strategic planning experience in higher education, Angela Wambugu Cobb joined Dr. Sams to orchestrate this event. Dr. Sams wanted to do. He wanted to bring together um, educators in higher education and business people to uh, talk about what it means to partner together so we could prepare our students for future jobs. Cobb expressed the significance of showcasing our incredible students to businesses and creating student success through these resources. To see the students here at, at this event in particular with the business leaders was amazing because I don't think that students always get the opportunity to see and interact with these business folks before they graduate. And so for the business individuals to see our students and how not only poised they are, but ready, and also have an opportunity to speak to them so that they understand just how great our students are. So we want them to come back again and again so they can offer internships and other opportunities for our students. It's really on us to create a good envi teaching environment um, for students that come to be interns with us. Um, in the colleges, it's also important that the students get real hands-on training, and no matter what area they're interested in. Debbie Krennic, a publisher at Long Island's local Newsday, was among the businesses that joined the conversation. She spoke on the business's perspective on how students can strive for success in a professional setting using their experience from the university. Hiring local talent that come out of the university is very important to us and um, you know the training that everyone is giving uh, those students, right? So that, that when they come in, they come in with that sort of base confidence. And then, you know, we work with them and, uh, you know, it's the, the successes are endless. I want to take a moment to thank those who helped make today activity possible. We just got done hearing the conversation between the panelists and Dr. Sams, giving us a better insight of how businesses will be helping the universities create growth and stability within the community. This has been Alexis Spinelli, and we would like to congratulate Dr. Sams on his inauguration.